Okay, so there we go. We got our first layer of insulation in on all the walls, <clears throat> except for obviously this front one. Um, we're gonna do this later because I gotta remove all these bolts. But get all our insulation in. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through and then use half inch insulation. These are, yeah, these are R5 sheets. The half inch ones are 3.2. So we're gonna have a value of R8 throughout all of the walls. Um, it's not a ton of insulation, right? Cause I mean, you can get R, you know, 18, 19, like uh, pretty, pretty high up there for houses. But I think for this application we'll be all right. Um, cause we don't tend to do a whole lot of like super duper cold stuff. And we can always run propane or electricity inside for heat. But it is important to have some insulation uh, kind of in your walls. So I'm gonna go and start cutting all the half inch sheets and see if we can start fitting them in there. Theoretically, they should tuck in here real nice. Then we can put these wood pieces back up and that will be the framing for the inside of our house. What's up guys? We just got done with another uh, build day here in the box truck. Um, I wanted to take you guys with me, but uh, right now when my buddy's here and they're helping me work, filming is just not um, not really tenable. So I'm going to be just kind of catching you up on what we did today uh, and you guys can just take a look and see what's going on. So all the cool stuff has happened back here. So first of all, we replaced that one by four because it was all broken. Uh, as you can see, there's pieces of it here. We replaced that one by four along the bottom as well. The rest of them are in good enough shape to use. And this is where the progress has been made. These are our studs for our ceiling. So we put the first three of them in and we built this wall. What you're seeing is here's where the bedroom is going to be. The bed's going to be elevated probably to about this point right here. Um, and then there's going to be storage underneath it. And this is the bathroom. Um, so there's going to be an accordion door here that allows you access inside. Um, and shower, sink, toilet. Uh, and it's actually quite roomy. It's about 34 inches in here. Um, I got big, broad shoulders. And you can kind of see how I'm doing between the, um, between the walls stuff. Uh, and the other cool thing we did is we took these two by fours, right? And we ripped off. So two by four nominally is actually an inch and a half by three and a half inches. We took an inch out of all the two by fours to buy us an extra inch of width because this is more than enough uh, thickness to run all our plumbing and stuff through. And what we did here was normally these are, these are 18 inches on center. We ran out of two by fours. Otherwise we would have continued going here. But over here, what we did was I went ahead and reinforced this area because of the curved dome up there. We had to basically do a little caddy corner and put in a stabilization piece right there um, to make this fit up against this wall flush. But so we put this right here because this right here is where gonna, the shower head is going to be. And so you want 12 inches in here that gives you the ability to secure everything properly. And these hangers, these studs up there are actually screwed in into that aluminum piece right there. And there's 30. So I'm about 250, 260 pounds, depending on how much uh, food I eat. Uh, and I can actually right there in the corner, not in the middle, but in the corner, I can actually hang right there. And my buddy who's about 160 pounds was here and he can pretty much hang from the middle. So I do know those are sturdy and all they have to support is the ceiling. The other cool thing is if you look that way, you can see there's definitely a couple of inches in there. And once we go back to panel the ceiling, we're going to basically put in as much insulation as we can stuff between the roof of this and uh, basically the roof and the, the drop roof, if you will, the drop ceiling. So I'm going to do, hopefully this week, I'm going to put these two by fours all the way out to here. Obviously here the door ends. And so I have to repair this door a little bit uh, somehow. I'm still not sure how to do that yet, but we're going to basically drop the ceiling here uh, about 12 inches. Or I'm sorry, not 12 inches, like six inches to go down underneath this railing. And then we're going to carry on the drop roof. So this will be basically the outside world and this will be the inside world. Um, and that will allow us to have really good insulation all the way through here, basically to this point. Um, and uh, we've rethought the mudroom idea. I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to end the truck um, right here, which will leave us basically about two feet. So basically just a little bit of outside dirty storage space. And this is where the inside wall will go. Um, but obviously we got to do everything else first before we get to that point. So I'm pretty happy. This is a good amount of progress. Uh, and now that the inside wall is coming in, you know, it's really starting to give, um, give meaning to the vision and I kind of know where we're going and I feel a lot more confident and comfortable with this project. That's always how it is, right? You get started and 
you start kind of going down this path and you're really not sure and then you start putting things together and this is why it's so important to just put in the hours get in there get it done um, because once you put start putting stuff together it, it makes a lot more sense in your head so the really fun stuff is ahead I gotta start sourcing parts um, a little bit more wood from Home Depot and just kind of get get some of this uh, going but I'm excited we're really getting ahead of ourselves uh, anyway, that's all I got for you guys for this update. Um, in the next video, hopefully uh, there'll be more progress. Hopefully we start getting the wall done and start doing some basic plumbing and whatnot. So if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video series, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit the like button. Um, find me on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, all at MaxWorks. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.